Hey YouTube, it's Joanne here, and this is a random vlogging video uh, I'm bringing you today. So, pardon the attire, but this is the Joanne is getting shit done this weekend. It's Memorial Weekend. I just uploaded a video on a, uh, a life hack on... I just uplo uploaded a life hack video, uh, Dollar Tree hack, whatever you want to call it, where I take a disposable diaper and uh, put a whole bunch of water in it and then I make a super soil out of it and I replanted my uh, Dollar Tree sunflowers inside of the soil and I will be watching those over the next month, you know, few weeks, month or whatever to see how they're progressing. So today I am out running around a ton of errands. Uh, my hair is the, I've already been working around the house, so it's a mess. So I just threw on my Dollar Tree. I call them their survivor buffs because that's what they wear on Survivor. And so yeah, it just kind of covers up the mess that is my hair today. I have some sunglasses on because it is extremely sunny out. And I am just running around errands. So I just finished... Uh, before I left the house, I just emptied out a ton of stuff that was in the back of my car that was just sitting around forever that I needed to bring in the house. I loaded up a printer and I brought it to the computer recycling place to get that out of the garage. I'm really, really trying hard to just get, just get shit done, guys. You know, get things accomplished. So now what I'm doing is I'm swinging around... I'm making a whole bunch of stops today, but the next stop is going to be at the parking lot of the grocery Wegmans grocery store where they have a uh, a rescue mission uh, trailer, and I'm going to stop there and drop off a bag of basically they're just old Christmas ornaments and stuff from Christmas time that I don't use anymore. When I put away my Christmas ornaments, I kind of sorted them out and I said. I did that. What makes me happy? You know, what just does this bring me joy? And if it didn't bring me joy or if it was junky, I just put them in a bag. If it was garbage, I tossed them out. So these are definitely things that you would possibly see at a thrift store for, you know, that Christmas decorations that you would see at a thrift store. So I'm not actually hitting this grocery store today grocery store today which is by the way I don't know if you've ever heard of Wegmans before but in uh, the Northeast it is kind of like the grocery store of grocery stores it is so clean they have amazing organic vegetables and they have a really good uh, store brand of products so but today this is like right near my house uh, but today what I'm gonna do is I need to go to Trader Joe's I need to hit up Dollar Tree, and then I need to go to Target. So in those, in I'm not sure necessarily what order it's going to be in, but I thought I would bring you along the way. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy my vlogging today. I know you guys usually like that, so here I go. I am going to put you on pause so I can go drop off my stuff at the rescue mission. Okay, so we're back. So, you know, here's a, so here's a tip from, uh, here's a tip for a minute from the tax accountant, Joanne. So when you go to make trips to the rescue mission, you know, why don't you do it, just make sure you do it when they're open so that you get one, can get one of these receipts. Uh, if you itemize your deductions, you can actually list out what you donated and take it as a tax deduction. So I picked up my little receipt. I'm going to put it in my bag. So that will be a tax deduction for me for my 2015 taxes. And now we're going to head off to, let's see, I'm trying to think of the next place that would be the most logical place to go. I wanted to clean my car too. And that's why I kind of emptied out as much junk as I could. I need to empty some garbage out and it needs a good vacuuming and I need to go through the car wash. So that's also on my agenda to take care of today. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put you guys on pause until I decide where I'm going next. 
Okay guys, so I just had an idea of where I wanted to go next. I am going to swing into the, so I can't remember if it's a Salvation Army or if it's a rescue mission, but I usually just like to stop in there just to see if there's anything new. Uh, what I'm really looking for right now is I am looking for a coffee table, but I want, it's got to be the right size. I'm actually looking at, it's got to be halfway light. It's got to be halfway, or it can't be like a big, heavy, clunky coffee table, but I'm looking for a very light, sturdy coffee table that I can use. Ready? Get ready for it. I want to use it for a standing desk. I want to be able to put it on top of my desk at my office and create a standing desk. And then when I'm not using it, I want to be able to put it down so that I can, uh, you know, maybe put a printer on it or something like that when I'm not going to be using it for a standing desk. So yeah, so it's a Salvation Army actually. I couldn't remember if this was the Rescue Mission or Salvation Army. This is a fairly new store that they opened and it's very clean. So I am going to be running in here. I'm going to see what kind of goodies I can find and maybe I will do a quick haul of the items when I get back out. I don't know. We'll see if I find anything good. Be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I, you would not believe what I found at the rescue, or at the Salvation Army. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, as soon as I get down to the Target parking lot, because that's going to be my next stop, I am going to do a quick haul for you so that you can see all the wonderful. Yeah. And while I was there, I also ran into my best friend who was also my, she also works with me, she's my assistant, Janine. And the funny thing was, is she, uh, you know, I was talking at the beginning of this video how I'm kind of clearing out, ooh, garage sale. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's how my brain works. Uh, so I was talking at the beginning of this video how I'm really trying hard to do a lot with, you know, clearing out a lot of garbage and a lot of junk and just stuff we don't need. And I had had a huge, my garage was just filled with stuff that we needed to get rid of. Janine recently picked up a used truck with a pretty big size bed in the back. And so we've been using that to make trips to the dump and, you know, just, just cleaning out stuff that's in my garage. Well, I had a futon bed that my youngest son was using that he's no longer using. I bought him a new bed for Christmas and a new mattress. So she took that for her kid, for her son, one of her sons. Uh, we cannot find the bolts. So my son took the bed apart and put it in a bag somewhere. And I, we have no idea where the bag is. It's probably going to show up somewhere. It's going to be in a random junk drawer or whatever. But in the meantime, my friend can't put together the frame. So first I was thinking, well, maybe you can just go down and go to Lowe's and just buy a bunch of different hardware with the screws and, you know, make it work. So I'm inside that Salvation Army, guys, and don't I find the exact duplicate frame for this futon? Exact. I mean, what? I mean, this is like the cosmos in the world talking to us. I mean, how strange is that? So I snapped a picture of it. I texted it to her and I said, by the way, I'm at the Salvation Army and they have a frame that looks like it's almost brand new here for like 30 bucks. I think it was like 39 bucks or 30 bucks, something like that. So she said, I'm on my way. So meanwhile, I'm shopping around because I was almost getting ready to leave. I had found one item and then I decided to go back through again. Have you ever... You ever walked through a store or, you know, like if you're a thrift store and you walk through one area and you don't really see anything on the first pass, but then if you really slow down and you really take a look at things, you really might find some gems. And that's what happened to me. I first went through uh, the front area of our Salvation Army, which is like the shoes and the uh, purses and totes and stuff like that. The, the shoe section looked disgusting. The, I wouldn't even attempt to try on any of those shoes. They were just really, really grody. 
and there wasn't a big selection anyways but I started looking through when I first passed through the purse section I didn't really see much that caught my eye I'm like ah, eh, you know and I kind of went down I was like I said I was m mainly in there to look for the coffee table and that's why when I just saw that garage sale I'm like ooh, there's a garage sale do they have a coffee table I mean th this is like my my mission this weekend is to come up with a plan to be able to create this standing desk for cheap without having to like build it. You know, I could probably figure out how to build something like that, but I just want to do it with some, I want to repurpose something. I don't need to necessarily buy something new. So, so my friend came in to the store just as I was checking out and she saw what I had bought while I, while I was there and she was yelling at me. She goes, you do not need any more purses because that's what I bought, guys. I got a shit ton of purses. I am not sure what I'm going to do with them. Honestly, I may keep them. I may decide to sell them online. Uh and what, like I said, once I get parked into the Target up here, I'll kind of explain to you my thoughts about these purses because they are all really nice purses. They were in very, very good condition, and I thought the price was extremely reasonable. So I, but let me say this: I am by no means an expert. I'm not a I'm not a designer expert. I don't know if you know. I don't know what if they're in that the type of condition that they're in. I don't know what the normal pricing is. If, if it would be a purse that would sell online, you know, I am not familiar at all with those kind of things. So, oh my God, there's a Goodwill. <laughs> oh my God, there's a Goodwill that just opened there, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop in that Goodwill too. Oh my God. It's a wonderful day. I didn't know they have... I didn't know. That's a huge Goodwill. Oh, my... I didn't know there's one open. I'm so excited. Oh, it's a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Okay, so where was I? Oh. So I'm not an expert when it comes to purses. I don't know if they're going to... I don't know if these things would sell good online or anything like that. So... If any of you out there are good with uh, pricing and eBay and selling online, I know Wesley, if, you, if you've gotten to this part of the video and you can maybe give your input as to whether you think any of these purses may sell online, if I don't fall in love with them, I may just end up turning around and selling them because it, I didn't have that much investment in them. And so therefore, you know, if I can make a few bucks, on it or make some or you know I might even put them up just like in the um, the planner community uh, I'm on one of these Facebook groups that's like bags it's like bags and purses and totes group so and believe me that is a horrible group to be in when you have an addiction to purchasing purchase to purchasing the likes of me of purchase <laughs> fuck I can't say it that is to, I love that site. I love that group, but it's a horrible group, especially when you have an addiction like me to purchasing purses. Okay, so I'm here now at Target parking lot. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to haul these purses really quick for you. And uh, yeah, so let's go. Okay, so first of all, something that's not a purse, but I found this bluish and it's plastic but it really looked like glass. This was a whopping 79 cents. And this is gonna go perfect in my lady cave that I am decorating in a Doctor Who theme. So it's a perfect like TARDIS blue color and I'm sure I can find something that I can uh, display inside this bowl. So this was the only thing that was non-purse related that I got. Okay. Next, we'll start with this purse. And I gotta have to wipe these down because they smell like they smell like the Salvation Army. You know, they don't necessarily they're not necessarily smelling like they're brand new. But this purse was 
$4.99. And it has a very long strap. It's actually, it's actually a longer strap than on my uh, cheek spiral. See how long that strap is? And, but look at this. It's like patchwork. I mean, isn't that cute? And the side, the, the two sides are identical. And they have a zip across the front. And there's also a little pocket here on both sides. Like, how cute is that? And then the inside, check this out. The inside, guys, has three pockets. One, one in the middle, and one here. And when I'm looking inside here, this looks like it hasn't even been used. It looks like it hasn't been used. I have no idea of the brand. Let me just see if I can find a tag in here on this one. There's no markings as to what brand it is. So, but I just thought this was a cute purse that's kind of, it's kind of leather feeling. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but I... You know, I like this one, so this just might be another, a, a spare purse for me. I don't know, but I really like that one. Okay, so that's the one that I don't know what it is. Uh, here's another one that is, now this one, this one was $3.99, and it has a little tag on it that says Cabin Creek Genuine Leather. So I don't know anything about Cabin Creek, but I will look it up. And so check this out. It has a nice strap. It has a flip open front with a magnetic clasp. And I made sure that the magnetic clasp actually works. It has a back full zip compartment, which I love to have those kind of compartments. And then the inside, again, it has a front pocket that's deep. And it has, and the front pocket is just together with a magnetic clasp, all right? And then this side closes with a zip. And it also has an inside interior pocket like it usually does. So I'm not familiar with this brand, but again, this thing looks brand new and it's genuine leather. So I am going to, um, again, I don't know if I want to get rid of this, but it's just such a nice bag. To, it'll go perfect with a pair of jeans. It kind of goes well with my chic spiral. You know, as far as I could use this as my small mini purse to take out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Onward. Wait till you see what I'm telling you. So that was two purses, right? I'm still going. It's not over with yet. The purse parade is not over yet. Check this out. Okay. This one is... Are you ready for this? $2.99. This one is a Liz Claiborne. I have no idea about purses, if Liz Claiborne's are nice or not, but this was in really good condition. I mean, look, look at this. I'll try to get out of the way. See how cute that is? It's just got a small little handle. The inside of it is just one big pocket with a little teeny interior like slip area and a snap. I thought this would be perfect for like a networking event that I go to. You know, I could just keep it on my wrist. I can put my phone in there, have some business cards, keep my wallet in there. How, I mean, seriously guys, $2.99. What, what do you think I could get for this? It, even if I decided to sell it online and it's so small that it could be easily shipped. I don't know, Wesley, tell me, what do you think? Okay, onward. I'm not done yet. The parade just continues, okay. This one is a little bit more expensive, another dollar. It was $3.99. Okay, look at this one. This one's got the thick strap that has a buckle on each side. It's this soft, I don't know if it's leather, but it's a really soft, plushy feeling. And you open it up, and it just has the inside zip little pocket, and then it's just wide open. And guess what kind this is? It's a Liz Claiborne. So, again, I don't know. But this would be cute to just put like this. I mean, God, how cute is that? Maybe I should walk, maybe I should walk through Target with using one of these so I could see, 
exactly if I like carrying it or not. I think I'm going to carry this one into Target. All right. <laughs> I still got two more. I'm telling you, I went first crazy. This one I really love. I really, really love this one. And it, and I don't never heard of this brand before. Um, it's made in China. But look at this. I mean, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to let you look at it. I, do I need to say anything else? Look at the straps. They are so heavy. They're like wrapped in chain. This one was $4.99, so this one was a little bit more expensive. The brand is called Bueno. And I have, it has a back slip pocket. And you open it up and it has a little front area and then it has the center area. And then it has the little back, you know, zip that, oh, it, how cute is that? Like, I don't want to give these away. I mean, look at that. Maybe I'll carry this one into the Target. I think I'm going to carry this one into the Target. I love this one. It's called Bueno. Never heard of Bueno. But again, I don't know if this is real or not, but it's like, it's like soft. It's, it's it might not be real leather, but it's really soft feeling. And I love the look of it. And I like how it's a, has these little darker flux because I thought that would go with my with my Chic Sparrow tote that I have. Okay. Last one, and I promise, I told you guys I have a purse fetish, and I never. This is like my purse fetish anonymous group. I'm I'm finally just sharing this all with you guys. But this is my last one I found, and I can't even believe I bought this. Three ninety nine. I hate red, but look at this, this maroon. How cute is this purse? I mean, it's adorable. <clears throat> First of all, the back, this one is brand new. It has a back zip open wallet area that has not even been used. And it has a pull out little wallet. Look, it still has the thing on it that this can be carried with you. I just love that. Inside here, we have a front little pocket, and it's a magnetic clasp, right? And then we just have the um, open center here that opens up to a center. So that is the last one I got. I like So you see all these. I have no idea which one should I keep, which one should I sell, or maybe I should just keep them all. I don't know, guys, but I think I got issues. I have a purse fetish. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me right now. I'm going to go into Target and see if I can. Oh, you know what I got to go into Target for? Let me tell you what I have to go into Target for. I have a soda streamer. Of course I do. I have two of these that I need to return and get two brand new ones. So I'm going to go in there. I'll maybe take a pop in and look at the um, dollar spot. And then I need to check to see if they have Bloody Mary mix and garlic stuffed olives. So that's kind of what's on my agenda for hitting, hitting up Target. So I will check back with you guys when I get out of Target. Hey guys, it's Joanne here. So um, I just got back out of Target and picked up a few things. I want to show you a couple things quick. I have to tell you, I absolutely love this purse. I carried it around. It is so comfortable. And I didn't notice this. Watch. It's a short handle. And you go like this. And it's a long handle. Like, get the out. Long handle, short handle. I love this one. I think, I think this is going to be definitely a keeper. Okay, so what did I pick up? Uh, Dollar Spot had a lot of stuff. Um, I'm just going to go through. This is food stuff. You don't really care about that at Target. It's mainly just cheese puffs, organic cheese puffs and tortilla roll things. Um, from their Simple Balance, Simply Balance collection and some whole wheat bread for my family because I can't have grains, so they're, it's not for me. All right, for myself, I did pick up some Tazio, Tazo uh, green ginger tea. 
It is, uh, it says this bright green tea blend has a kick from ginger and a sweet note of pear. I love pear. I love ginger. I love green tea. So yeah, we're going to check out some tea tonight. And I got a box of 12 Cliff Bars. Uh, this is for either me or the kids. Uh, I know um, this one isn't officially gluten-free, but it is a really good uh protein bar has 11 grams of protein and I was starving and I have to get one out now so I can have a snack because I'm not going to make it the rest of the day for what I need to do without having a snack. So this was um, 12 bars for $10.99 which equals out to be less than a dollar for these so that this is this is actually cheaper than what it was when I was getting them for a buck a piece at the Dollar Tree. So again, this is an example of how it's not always cheaper to buy the buck things at the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up some stuffed olives, but these are not for me, and I, they're probably actually the wrong kind, but I am on the hunt today for my husband likes garlic stuffed green olives for his martinis or whatever. These are queen olives, but they're stuffed with garlic, jalapeno, and pimento. <laughs> So I'm thinking that if I can't find the garlic stuff ones that these will do in the meantime. So I picked up some of those. Got myself a water because I'm thirsty. That was a real thrill. Okay, here's the fun stuff. Uh, picked up Cosmo, some more uh, potty pads. And I have to tell you guys, I mean, this kind is, I've been through all of them. This one that says the Smart Spot by Arm & Hammer, this is the best, especially if you have a small dog like mine, and he really tries to go pee on the pee pad, but sometimes the scent, he drifts off the pad. On these, he does not. It's scented, whatever it is. He likes it, and he tries to pee right on the pad. So, like I said, you... We've tried those bullseye ones that are on seen, uh, seen on TV. They do not work, at least for my dog. This smart spot did. So uh, my recommendation for anybody who's got little dogs at home that you're working with a, with a potty pad thing on, uh, keep trying because you will find a brand that they like to use, and this one is Cosmos. Okay, uh, in the makeup department, and I normally don't get a lot of makeup, but, you know, I had picked up for the car, I don't know if you saw a couple videos ago, I had a little makeup bag that I keep in my car, and I grabbed some of the LA Colors, uh, found, uh, the LA Colors makeup uh, foundation, and that stuff is just literally water. It's, it'll probably go in my fails video because it, does, it doesn't give you any color or anything. So I'm going to try, because I, this is, like my target was very slow to get the e.l.f. stuff, I have to tell you. Uh, never had a really big display, and now they have the two big displays of e.l.f. products there. They have the white products and then the black, the more premier products. So I picked up some uh, HD Mattifying Cream Foundation, and I got it in the porcelain because I am right now porcelain white until I get some sun on me. Um, I've never honestly really tried a cream foundation, and I thought I would give this a go for the summer. So I'll let you know how I like this. And then I grabbed one of these, the, the tone correcting powder, because there's times where I get a lot of, you know, kind of redness and patchiness in my skin tone. And right now it's probably looking absolutely horrendous. So maybe I should put some of this on right now. I don't know. But I'm trying to pull this out so I can see what it looks like. So I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, here we go. So yeah, and so you just, you know, the theory of it is, and I, I, I'll have to look up, but you're supposed to use different colors for different parts of your, of your skin that you're trying to cover up, you know. But it's a nice, it's a nice uh, silky texture, and I think I got a, I have a sponge or whatever, but I thought these might be nice to carry inside of my bag that I'm going to be keeping in the car for touch-ups and stuff. Okay, Dollar Spot, guys. Dollar Spot, I found. I've got three of these flashlights, and they are very heavy-duty flashlights. They take two AA batteries, and the reason why I'm getting three of them, and they have a nice little rubber band bristle at the end, 
we keep on there we have a light we have a flashlight bandit in our house because we keep flashlights on top of our refrigerator and then they disappear and I th I'm sure the kids are grabbing them for one thing or another and they're not putting things away I have no idea where they are sometimes they break they don't have a battery the battery's dead I'm getting th three fresh runs I'm putting batteries in them and putting them up on top of the fridge I'm giving one to my husband actually I'm putting two on top of the fridge I'm giving one to my husband so he can keep in his little area next to his chair so he will always know where one's hidden and so now we'll have three flashlights for the house that's the story I'm sticking with and these were only a dollar at the dollar spot the dollar spot had a ton of stuff there it was amazing last last item and then I gotta take off to go to my next door I grabbed four packs of these and these are four packs of them these are magnetic letters and I, there's 26 of them, so there's one. So I got four of them in case I wanted to like spell up words and stuff like that. Uh, I have a, a cookie sheet that I purchased that I wanted to kind of paint with like maybe some chalkboard paint in the middle, and then I could use these for like magnets and kind of spell things, maybe a little inspiration uh, sayings or whatever. So I picked up four of them. They were a dollar a piece. Thought they were cute. Why not? So that was the last purchase that I got at Target. Now, my decision is, should I stay or should I go? <laughs> no. my, my decision is, do I go to the local store here, the one that I was kind of near earlier, or do I hit up Trader Joe's in the Dollar Tree? Because there's a Dollar Tree right around the corner. So I'm trying to decide that right now. Uh, it's three o'clock. I still have to cook. To, I still have to get around. I got two hours to do this because I got to be home by like five so I can make something for dinner. And man, I'm thirsty. It is very hard for me to get the water in a day that I have to drink on this, uh, my new regime that I'm doing. I was feeling very, very parched inside of Target, and I said, you know what, I'm going to pick one up. So this is, how many ounces? 16.9 ounces is going in me right now. 20 ounces is going in me right now. What should I do? Okay. I have an ice cream headache from <laughs> drinking that water fast. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree, make that stop, and then just come here to the Wegmans, and I'll just do Wegmans this week for food instead of the Trader Joe's. Oh, but I want my Trader Joe's meatballs. <sighs> Yep. It's going to have to wait. All right. I'm going to head out and I will touch back with you when I get back out of the Dollar Tree. Hey guys, I'm back and I am exhausted. So I ended up going to Dollar Tree and to Aldi's. And now I have still one more stop. I still have to go to Wegmans because I need gluten-free bagels. I still haven't found the stupid olives with garlic inside of it. Uh, Bloody Mary mix for my husband, both hot and regular. And mayonnaise, mayonnaise, mariners, 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 mayonnaise. Did you guys ever watch that, uh, that Here Comes Honey Boo Boo show before it went off the air? I hate to say it, but I I actually used to watch it. I thought it was quite entertaining with just Mama June and how uh, the way she would cook and oh my God. I actually tried, funny story, I actually tried making her skeddies, skeddy, whatever she used to call it, recipe. Um, I actually have the video still, I might have deleted it, I don't know, I'll have to check. But it used to be on my other channel where you mix uh, ketchup and butter. 
and you just heat it up and then you pour it over pasta and that's what they would make for the, that was like their that's their pasta dinner was ketchup with butter of course this was all pre my new regime let's just say that right now uh, so yeah I haven't done that in gosh eons but I did try it once and it was actually I hate to say it but it was really good because I am a big fan of butter and I love putting, I love just having pasta with just butter on it and maybe a little Parmesan cheese. And so when you mix up, it was, it's usually like three to one. So it's like, or, so say you do like um, a cup or two cups of ketchup to like three quarters of a cup of butter. And then you just kind of melt it in a glass bowl until it gets melted. And then you just, that is your sauce that you put on spaghetti. Anyways, why the hell am I talking about uh, why the hell am I talking about Honey Boo Boo and Mama June and Skeddy? Because when I said the word mayonnaise, that was one of the things is that one of the daughters could not say the word mayonnaise correctly. And the other thing is Mama June was deathly afraid of mayonnaise. And they had a couple of different episodes where they would torture Mama June with big, huge tubs of mayonnaise. So, yeah. So anyways, I need to get mayonnaise uh, because I'm going to be making a, a red potato salad and I'm going to be making a crab meat salad. And of course, these salads, mind you, I am not going to be able to eat because I don't, I can't have grains yet. But the family wants them, so I need to go to Wegmans, pick up uh, the pinwheel pastas and all those other ingredients that I babbled to you guys before because probably I'll forget one. Then I can bring everything home and start making dinner. So I'm hoping in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna have a few minutes when I get out of the Wegmans to maybe do the quick Dollar Tree haul in the car and then get home. Or if not, you'll see the Dollar Tree haul in inside my house later tonight. Yeah, because I am just not sure if I'm gonna have time to get it all get it all done but I've been going it's I've been out here for like two and a half almost three hours running my errands and I have this is the good thing is I've done I've accomplished just about everything I wanted to accomplish today with the exception of cleaning out my car and that's okay because I think I can clean out my car tomorrow at home and maybe save a few dollars on the vacuum instead I can use the uh, car, little car vacuum that we have at home. I don't really like it that much. I really like the one right here. It's got the big vacuums. And the other thing is too, there was that Goodwill that just opened. Remember that I stopped, that I saw earlier? I can't remember where that was. I want to check that out, but I'm too tired to check it out today. And a lot of times the Goodwills are not open on the uh, on holidays. So, oh, it's right up here. The Goodwill is. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to buzz in here into Weggies and, you know, get all the shit that I have to get. But let me tell you something. I got some exciting stuff at the Dollar Tree today. I got a few new things. And let's see. Let's see if I can give you a teaser. And give you something like that for a teaser while I'm at the red light. I know more nail things, right? But you know what I can't find in Trish? Trish, you're gonna have to help me out here because I cannot find those pens that you hauled the other day. They are not at my Dollar Tree. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to rewatch your video and get a close up of that package because I didn't I didn't think I saw it in there I don't know hopefully I'll find them but I did find some other pens so yeah all right guys I'm gonna pull in here to Wegmans and run in and get all those items that I told you about because I'm probably gonna forget them because I didn't write it down and I should have I put two of them inside my Evernote but not all of them so yeah. Alrighty. I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, it's 501. And look what I got in the back seat here. 
at Wegmans, they had these big hanging plants. I got two of them. I don't know if you can see tomatoes. And then I got a hanging strawberry plant. They were calling my name. I remembered everything, but I forgot the pasta for the crab meat salad, but that's okay because I do have pasta at home. It's just not the little wheelies. We're going to have to deal with it because I'm not going back in that store. Okay, I'm going to do the Dollar Tree haul quick so I can get home, but I got to take my last swig of water. I'm kind of in the shade here, so I'm hoping you guys can see okay. So the first thing I did was I picked up some more of the shopping bags. So here is, I didn't have this pattern yet, which is the shoes. And I didn't have this pattern with all the little lemons and citrus fruits. And then the other bag, see, because I only had two bags at the Dollar Tree. Look at this. How cute is that? I think they just got these in, at least in my store. Haven't seen the fruits, but I got those. So, okay, let's go through bag number one quickly. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to be still watching this video, this video is an official giveaway video because... I hit 600, 600 subscribers last night and I just, I'm shocked. And I want to thank you all for being a part of this, my community, the Dollar Tree community, the planner community. I love you both. I love you all. And I enjoy so much reading your comments and commenting back and seeing what you're doing in your videos and, you know, just kind of hanging out together because that's what it's all about, right? So anyways, thank you. The subscriber giveaway, you have to be a, subs a subscriber of mine. It has to be, you have to have it publicly shown that you are a subscriber of mine. And I just want you to leave a comment below. Um, I, I don't want you to say, enter me, because that'll be a clue that it's a giveaway video. So this is a secret. So what you have to do is in the comments, I want you to type, be awesome. Okay, if you type be awesome somewhere in your comment, I mean, you can comment something else like you guys always do, but if you either start it or end it with be awesome, then you are officially entered in the giveaway. And the giveaway is going to be a surprise because you know what? I'm not even sure what I'm going to be giving away. I know part of it will be a gift card, it'll either be a Amazon gift card or a Dollar Tree gift card, along with some other goodies. And it'll be planner, either planner goodies or Dollar Tree goodies or a combination of both. So here we go with the Dollar Tree haul after we got that all out and out and, you know. So if you've made it this far into the video, congrats. You guys can now be, you guys are loyal. You guys must love my craziness if you're still watching me at this point in time because this is a long ass vlog of whatever it is. Okay. I got these packages of two packages of three ballpoint pens and I thought maybe one of these could go in for a giveaway black ink but they're so cute they have like little butterflies and they're purple love them so let's see how am I gonna do this I think I'm gonna empty this bag into this bag that's gonna be the easiest way to do it it's hard to do car it's hard to do car hauls what I do for you guys I picked up a new nail buffer, the seven-way nail buffer. Mine was getting old and ran rancid. And let me tell you, my Dollar Tree today, they got a ton of boxes in. They were unpacking a ton of stuff, so I may even stop back there just to see if there's anything else new. I did find these ballpoint pens. They're black. They looked like they'd be more heavy-duty. So I wanted to, you know, I like to try pens just to see how they write because I'm really finicky when it comes to... Uh, pens. These are the gel and they're called the Mega Bold Gel. Okay, so I still haven't been able to find those ones that Trish had and I am going to keep my eye out for them. I I grabbed just one of these things of uh, the turkey bags. You know how you always like get ready to cook something that you need one of these bags for and then you totally just forget that you don't have one. So this is just going to go in the pantry for the next time I make a turkey. I grabbed a 
I, there might be one more, but I grabbed these little gel packs. I thought these would be great for when I'm packing something for lunch because, uh, and sometimes if I'm in my car, if I'm traveling around for, you know, going to see a client and I need to keep like a salad or something on the cool side, I thought these were a cute way to do it. So there was a lime, a kiwi, and a watermelon. Yeah, so he, these are so cute. I got a knife. Uh, we one of our knives broke, and it was a bigger knife. But I saw this one, and I haven't, I haven't really seen anybody comment on whether these are sharp or not. So I thought I would kind of review it and see how I like it for a dollar. How sharp is it? Does it cut? Does it, you know, cut vegetables and all that stuff? So maybe I will prepare my uh, potato salad and stuff using this knife today. I got a boring can of pork and beans because my husband, every once in a while, likes to have hamburger and beans. Ugh, I can't stand it, but he likes he likes it. So every once in a while, I'll treat him and let him, you know, I'll cook what he wants for dinner, and then I'll just have a salad. Whole pepperoncinis. Uh, he loves to have these on his salads, not me. Him and the kids love to have it, so I picked up those. I found two. We're going right along. This is serious business today. This is serious Dollar Tree hauling business right here. Let me tell you, I am not messing around. All right, <laughs> whoa, I got two, uh, two of the Blazing's uh, seasonings. One is Noreen's, Nor New Orleans style, <laughs> New Orleans style, and one's Steakhouse steak and chop style. So yeah, so I thought I would use these for some of the summer barbecuing that we're gonna be doing. And I got a, a little package of bungee cords because I thought I would find a way to kind of bungee up my shopping bags to keep them not taking up so much room in the back of my car, you know, because they're thrown all over the place. So that's what I'm going to use those for. I grabbed two of these little keychains and they're paracord keychains with a compass and I just thought they were kind of fun. I might keep one in my car. You know, it's always nice to have paracord for, for emergencies because you can break this apart and paracord's really strong. And, you know, I don't know if any of you guys, um, are any of you guys like preppers or do you guys like, you know, talking about prepping, you know, when the shit hits the fan and all that kind of fun stuff. So I kind of get into those shows and I do have like a bug out bag at home, like in case we have to leave our house, I have it like with, you know, how to like fire making material and all that kind of fun stuff. So I thought I'd throw one of these in the bug out bag and maybe keep one in my car somewhere just to kind of have. I have no idea if the compass is legit or not. I probably should test it out to see, but yeah. Keychains. Okay. Uh, I am getting on the bandwagon because this is, today is the first day that my store got the gels. <laughs> we haven't had these before, so I'm picking these up and I'm going to try them. I don't know if they're going to fit my nails or not, but I figured if not, I'm going to give them to my girlfriend, so that's why I picked up so many of them. So the ones that I got were the tie-dyes. The, and by the way, I'm sorry, these are the Kiss uh, gel dress is what they're called. So I got the tie-dye. I got this lighter tie-dye with the little accents that you can put on it. I thought these were really cute with the flowers. And I got two, how many did I get of these? I got two of these, the blue ones. Love these. I saw somebody, I can't remember who you, who it was, but somebody had these on during a video and I love them and I went out and bought them because of you. So if you recently did a haul and you had these on, you made me, you, you're the reason why I bought these. Thank you. Let me know, let me know down below if you were the one. And then I got this one and I like the ones that come with the little accents. And then the last one is the pink with the little accents. So again, I'm going to give those a try. I'm going to go nail out, all nail out this weekend. Oh, one more. And that one with the chevrons, this one was really cool. And then I got another package of these. Now, I haven't done the press-on nails yet, and I may not. Uh, if I'm 
I play softball, and so I'm not sure how these are going to last when I play softball, and I didn't want to have to take them off, but I did get an extra pair because I loved this design. I, have a, I already have a package of these, but I wanted to have a couple for maybe more in the fall. I would probably use the more of the permanent ones. And then I grabbed two of these, uh, two of the Color Show nail tattoos. So I don't know if you guys have seen these or used these. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked them. But I just thought these were really cute for like little accents to put on just clear nails. So yeah, so I grabbed those. So that's one bag done. Wow, I'm going, I think I'm going... Oh my god, everything just, oh, I thought everything tipped over. I'm going crazy today, folks. I'm not messing around. All right, last bag, and there's not much in here. Paper towels, self-explanatory. Oh, here's the pens I got. I thought these were cool. Have you guys seen these yet? They're called Fashion Stick, and, and they are... Uh, what's the ballpoint? They're a point, a 1.0, and it says that the cap is the color of the ink. So I think I'm going to do a little test of it. Maybe in a separate video, I'll do a test to see how all these pens that I purchased recently work. And then I got some books. I picked up two of them for me. One of them is a Sudoku. I love to do Sudokus, uh, and I'm not very good at it, but I love to do them. And then I picked up a word find, but this is a motivational word find. And what I thought was really cool about this, guys, is that, so it's like you open up the page and the words that you have to find if you read it from top to bottom is like a motivational quote. So there's two motivational quotes and then you have to find all the words for the quotes inside here. So I thought, I thought that was really cute. I really kind of liked that. And it's kind of like not really... It's kind of mindless, you know, because you're just searching for words. So I thought maybe this might be something I might try to do, you know, just maybe like one a day or something. And that way I'm kind of reading a motivational quote and then doing a little bit of a brain brain work by doing a words find. What do you think about these? I don't know. Kind of like that. Then I grabbed my husband. See, I'm always thinking of my husband. You guys know that I talk that some of the stuff that I buy, I buy for him. He loves the crossword, so I got the two of the Coffee Time crossword puzzles. I don't know how difficult they are, and so, yeah. So, the only thing I'm thinking about these is that he might complain that the wording is kind of small, but for a buck, I figured, you know, if not, I will, uh, maybe I'll bring them into the office and, I don't know, give them away or something. Put them in a giveaway. So, and then I did... I show the Sudoku, right? So then the last thing I got, now this is probably one of the few books I've ever purchased from Dollar Tree. I, I honestly am not much of a book person. I, If I do read a book, I read it on my Kindle. Okay, I download it and read it on my Kindle. But I saw this and I said, oh my God, I need to get this. It is by Paula Reed and it's called Hester and it's The Missing Years of the Scarlet Letter. So if you've, you guys have ever seen that movie, The Scarlet Letter, with uh, Demi Moore, and she falls in love with, like, the minister of the town, and then she's, you know, shunned and has to wear an A, and then she's pregnant, and she has this, um, she has this baby. This is, like, the continuation, like, the, the, the missing years. So, and... What it says in the back is it just says, uh, I'll just read you the back cover. It sounds very interesting. Have you ever closed the scarlet letter and yearned to see what the future holds for Hester Prynne and her headstrong daughter Pearl? Paula Reed's richly imagined novel transports us across the sea to inter Interrogen, England, probably pronounced that wrong, where the two unique American women face political intrigue, discover passion, and seek their fortune in the shadow of the Cromwell's England. England. Okay, It says, a haunting excursion into the lost years of Hester Prynne, only hinted at in the Scarlet Letter. Hester is suspenseful and be bejeweling and, st uh, and a bejeweling storytelling. So there's a lot of good reviews on the back of this. Uh, it was originally $24.99, so yeah, I have said why not, I'm going to give it a shot, so this is going to be one of my summer readings, it's going to be Paula Reed's Hester. 
All right, guys, that is it. I am exhausted. That is it with the vlogging and the hauling and all kinds of exhaustedness. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so glad you hung out if you hung out this long. Please have a wonderful and safe Memorial Day weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading any more videos this weekend or not. If I don't, I will be watching you on your channel. For those of you who have video channels, be awesome, guys. Uh, God bless. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on my next video. Joanne is out.